with this palette from Hourglass. Yes, I recently uploaded a video playing with this one. I had really done a lot of research and I had decided this was the palette I was gonna get from the two. So I played around with it, I uploaded the video, I had so much fun and fell so madly in love with this palette that I decided to get the other palette. So that is what we are comparing today. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4 palette. This was the first one, this is the newest one. So many of you guys asked me to compare the two, so that's what we're gonna do today. I do not regret this purchase. I am very excited to have both of these gorgeous little fingerprint loving crazy palettes in my collection. They are so gorgeous. Hourglass kills it in packaging and just the overall look and how beautiful these palettes are just mm. you just want them sitting out on your makeup counter and just being very pretty minus the fingerprints please hourglass don't do this to me again i love these palettes but i hate the fingerprints i am a perfectionist and i do not like fingerprints like i don't like it on my refrigerator i don't like it on my palettes i don't like it on my mirrors i don't like it on my windows I'm a freak nut okay i'm a freaking fingerprint nut and i don't like it. Okay, moving right along. I am so excited to kind of play around with this palette and compare it to this. I've used this one several times since I uploaded that video, so I know how this performs. I know how these wear, and I also later on in the video swatched them side by side, meaning I swatched the bronzer next to the bronzer in the other palette. I swatched the highlighter next to the other highlighter. I swatched the blushes against the other palette just so that you guys can see and get in your mind what they look like next to each other, not swatched like this palette is on one arm, this palette's on the other. No, we are comparing the actual shades in each palette next to each other. So that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. And personally, I'm gonna tell you guys which palette I like more. I thought I would have a harder time deciding which palette I like more, but it was actually a pretty easy decision. So we're gonna get into all that details. I'm gonna stop talking and let's jump right into the video. Oh, I had to push pause on my dateline and it was in a really good spot, but I have got to start filming this or else I'm gonna be here all day. I don't know, do you guys love dateline? I love Dateline. I'm like, I'm a little crazy about it. So this palette comes in this like purplish pinkish box. It comes in like a black sleeve. This is what that palette looks like. She is beautiful. So let's hold these up next to each other so you guys can see what these, what the differences between these two are. So, I mean, there's some differences, um, a little bit, but not like a ton. This is the edit for unlocked palette. This palette has all new shades like every shade in this palette is new it's my understanding that these two first shades in the palette are from last year's palette so these are the finishing powders and those are in last year's palette so just FYI just know that going into it these are the first palettes that I bought from Hourglass I was gonna buy the one last year and then you guys, something come up and I just, I don't know why I didn't. There was something that happened and I just didn't end up buying it, but I kind of regret it. I do, but these are so amazing that, you know. So these two are finishing powders. This is diffuse light and this is dim light. So those you just basically apply all over the face. This one right here is a highlighter shade. This is the bronzer, filtered bronze light is what that's called. And then these two are blush shades. So this one's more of like a plum shade and this is like a peachy shade. Let's just start playing around with this powder and applying it on the face. And I think I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna press this underneath my eyes just to kind of set my concealer down. Today, all I have on is my, let's see, I'm wearing the Too Faced a Born This Way foundation. I'm wearing the Cover FX concealer, the new Power Play concealer. Then I just contoured with the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Those are really nice lightweight powders. Like I'm kind of impressed with the way that that looks underneath the eyes. It's not too harsh. It kind of lays over pretty. And I think especially once you like spray everything down and kind of set the face, I think it will be even better. So I'm going to take this end of the brush, by the way, this is my hourglass brush that I bought to apply the translucent powder. So I'm just going to kind of go between the two shades and I'm just going to set all over my face. I need to blend my contour better right there. What am I doing? <sighs> 
Is that blended better? Not really, isn't it? It'll look better once I... I just kind of like, just kind of set my face down. Like I kind of like that. If you guys have the ambient lighting palette, these are totally different powders. These are like a dimmed down highlighter for the face. So you can put these all over your texture. You can put these on, um, you know, blemishes and stuff and it doesn't exaggerate. It's definitely, these are not a highlighter. They just bring a little bit of highlight to the face, but they're just really toned down. These first two powders in this palette and in this palette, those are not any type of shimmer. They're just basically like a diffused um, type of finishing powder where they have a little tiny bit of luminosity, but not a ton, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna take a bronzer brush and I'm gonna go over here on this corner and apply this bronzer. Oh, that's pretty. I kind of like this one better, the bronzer in this one. I don't know, I don't know, I kind of, first impressions, I kind of like the other one better. You guys know I want to go right down into that peach blush, right? But I think on one side I'm going to do the peach and on the other I'm going to do the plum, just because I want you guys to be able to see what these look like. And I do have two different um, blush brushes here so I can do that. So I'm going to go down into this shade. Oh, yes, that's so pretty. So this one is called Luminous Glow, and this one is called Euphoric Fusion. So just for references, and these are new shades of blush. Ooh. I don't like a purple, but that's kind of pretty, right? But truthfully, through the monitor, I don't know how it's showing up on the camera. I never know until I edit the video. Like, I'm not seeing a lot of differences between these two. Are you, like... I don't know. Maybe once I edit the video, I'll be able to kind of see the differences, but right now, I don't really see much of a difference between those two shades. Like, and I know there's like a big difference inside the pan between those two shades, but on the face, they don't look all that different. All right, I'm going to take my Sigma, this is just a tapered highlighter brush, and I'm gonna go into the highlighter shade right here. I'm gonna put this right here on the high point of, ooh, she's pretty. So I can say right off the bat, this one is toned down compared to the other highlighter and the other palette. So just FYI, this one is kind of more of a diffused type highlighter. So this one in this palette is much more vibrant. This one is just very diffused and kind of toned down. So that's another differences between these two palettes. I'm gonna go into the Dose of Colors uh, Friendication palette. Um, this is the collaboration with Desi X Katie, and I'm gonna pull this shade right here. It's so amazing. I love that shade. So I'm gonna build up my crease, and then I am going to put a few shades from that palette over top, kind of like I did with the other palette. I don't know that that bronzer is dark enough to completely um, do a full look with it. Like, I don't know. Like, I was able to with the other palette, and I have done it a few times since then. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to place this shade down first. So I'm going to go down into the bronzer shade and just start, like, placing this over top. I'm just going to start building it and see if we're able to. I like a shimmer crease. I'm kind of feeling shimmer creases lately. I, I am. So that just kind of added a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of, mm, little bit of love to the crease. All right, so now let's go into the peach shade first and just see if we can get that to show up on our crease. I'm just gonna take my felt tip applicator, but it's a little bit dirty, of course, because everything I own is dirty. Shit. Tara, pull it together. I'm gonna go down into that peach blush. Oh, she's kind of pretty, isn't she? It looks pink though, which is kind of weird. It looks peachy in the pan, but it's kind of, it's kind of pink on the eye, a little bit pink. All right, I'm gonna go into the plum and just kind of press this on this outside because I want to see what the plum will look like. That like plum one on the outer corner. I mean, you can't really tell. So that's what we got going on so far, and I'm not mad at it, okay? I am not mad at it. 
it'll come together once I get lashes and all that jazzy jazz on. So I went ahead and swatched these, both of these palettes for you guys. So you guys can see the differences between the bronzers, the blush, the highlighters, and the finishing powders. Okay, so the shades on the bottoms, so these three, the ones on the bottom are from the gold palette. Okay, I'm just going to call them the golden pink. It's just easier. So this is the gold palette, okay? So this is the bronzer from the gold palette. This is the bronzer from the pink palette. This is the first blush from the gold palette. This is the first blush from the pink palette. This is the second blush in the gold palette, and this is the second blush in the pink palette. Just so that you guys can see the differences between those two. As you can see in this bronzer, this is a very light bronzer in the pink palette. This is a little bit of a deeper shade in the gold palette. Um, as far as the blush, the, bl the first blush in the gold palette definitely has that more nudey type shade. This is the blush from the pink palette, this palette, and that blush is a little bit more pink than it is peach. So if you guys were hoping that that blush was going to be peach, it's not. It's more pink than it is peach. I would say the one in the gold palette, this one has more of a peachy tone to it than this one does. So just FYI, this one is a little bit deeper, obviously. This is from the gold palette. This is from the pink palette. And as you can see, these are very similar in shade, which is kind of a bummer. It seems like this one is just a little bit darker than this one. So just so that you guys know that, they look very similar in the, the shade kind of tone, which is so weird because they look exactly opposite from each other inside the palette. So the shades are a little bit deceiving inside the palette. So these are swatches of the highlighter and the finishing powders. So right down here, this is the first finishing powder in the gold palette. This is the first finishing powder in the pink palette. So again, this right here, and this is the closest to my skin tone, so that's why you can't hardly see it, but this is the second shade in the gold palette, and this is the second shade in the pink palette. Just so that you guys can see what those two look like as far as like skin tone and stuff like that. And then these two up here are the highlighters. This is from the gold palette, and this is from the pink palette. So like I said, the pink palette is a little bit more diffused. It doesn't pack the punch like this one does from the gold palette, but this one actually has more of a champagne undertone. This was more of a pink undertone. So just know that, um, you know, depending on what you need and what you want in a highlighter, um, that one, that highlighter in the pink palette definitely has a pink undertone. So those are the shades compared to each other. give you guys my final thoughts on both of these palettes. Now, I loved this gold palette so much that I did go ahead and decide to get this one, but personally, after using both of them, I personally like the gold palette better. I like the shades of the bronzer better, I like the shades of the blush better, and I also like the highlighter much better. So personally, this is probably the palette that I will reach for more than I will this one. However, it also depends on what you guys like. That is from a personal perspective. Um, like I said, this is not peach. If you guys like a peach blush and you're looking at like going, oh, I want that peach blush, it's not peach. It's more of a pink tone. So know that. Um, I like this palette. The bronzer is much lighter. I would recommend this palette for someone, you know, who maybe has lighter skin tones because these are a little bit on the lighter side. And for somebody who likes a toned down, more uh, diffused type highlighter, um, if you like the plum shade and the pink blush and, and more of a toned down bronzer, this is a nice palette for that person. For me personally, I like the shade in this bronzer. I feel like it really adds a lot of life to my cheek and it's a little bit deeper than that one. Now the blush, they're both pretty pigmented. It just depends on what you want in a blush. I personally love this nude type blush. It does have that peachy undertone to it. This is becoming one of my favorite blush colors. So personally, you guys, I just like this palette much more. I do. For me, 
what I need in a palette. This one I like much more, but I'm not, I'm not sad that I got this palette. I'm not sad at all. I mean, I will definitely use this palette, but it just depends on what you need in your collection. And as I showed you guys in the differences between the swatches, make your decision based on that versus um, my opinion, because my opinion is based on what I need in a palette, not what you need. So I would go based on the differences between the shades in the bronzers, the blush, and the highlighters. And honestly, if you guys have last year's palette, I don't know that you would need this palette. I really don't. Even though I know that these are different shades, but if you guys have last year's palette, I would probably just get this one. I would go through your bronzers, I would go through your blushes, and I would see which shade do I really need in my blush collection, and I would kind of narrow it down from there. That's just my opinion, and I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely answer them to the best of my ability. My goal today was just to try to help you navigate and see both palettes and see how they look on the skin, how they swatch, how they feel, and then give you guys my opinion based on using both of them. So that is what I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support you guys show me and my channel in this journey. It really means a lot to me, and I really hope you guys have a fantastic week filled with love, happiness, and joy. I love you guys so much. Bye!